Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a video today and actually do some speaking, um, which I've not done before, so please bear with me, I'm cringing at myself already. Um, so just going to do a nude, quite contoured look. First of all, um, whether I'm doing day makeup or night makeup, I have started using the Sunday by Tropic, which is a new product. It's SPF 50, it's not a moisturiser, it is hydrating for the skin, but it's facial UV defence um, and it has hyaluronic acid in it as well, so it's super nourishing um, and also just really important to keep your skin um, protected from the sun because even if you're not in the sun directly, it can still cause ageing and damage from the UV rays. And it's such a good product. I'm going to use it in this video as well because I use it daily, but also just to show that um, it doesn't leave a shadow or anything because I know that a lot of SPFs, foundations with SPF especially, um, you know, for like brides and that sort of thing, you get such bad like flashback and like an ashy grey shadow casting um, in pictures and that. So I'm just going to use that to show that when I do take the pictures at the end, um, I'll pop some in the video as well and you can see that there's no cast or anything. And you can also see that it goes on totally clear. There's no sort of white, thick, cloggy, nothing like that at all. Um, but really good product, SPF 50. So if you don't already wear an SPF, get on it daily. Next, I'm gonna carve out the brow. I'm not gonna actually do my brows yet. Um, but carve out the brow, put on my base, my eye base, for eyeshadows. For my brows, I've just used NC15 in the MAC. Studio Finish Concealer. And for my eye base, I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low. I use this all the time, um, and on clients as well, it's really good. A nice creamy base, and I'm just working it into the back of my hand before popping it on. And you can see that they're like two different shades. Um, I like to have my brow just highlighted a little bit more um, and I'll blend these two together. And then I'm going to buff it with a domed dual fibre brush. So as I said, I'm gonna do a nude eye look and use one of my favorite um, palettes. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. And so I'm just gonna use this one here, which is called Fresh, and then blend in some of this one here, which is called Birch. I'm gonna start with the Fresh, um, which is the lighter of the two, and then just build it up. Just like a windsweeper motion for across your eyelid and then going in with the darker colour which is just a sort of warm tan bronzy kind of colour and starting off with circular motions in the outer corner and then just going to sweep that across the whole lid Then underneath, I'm going to take underneath as well, just with a brush like this, a smudger brush. And I'm going to take the darker colour only.
gonna pop on my lashes and then do a liner. And today I think I'm gonna go for a quite glam TL4 from Tie Lash. So lashes are on. These are obviously quite big and dramatic eyelashes. Um, because of that, I'm just gonna darken up my nude shade a little bit more. I'm gonna pop on some liner. Go for the Lancome Crayon Pencil Liner. Then I'm gonna take a pencil brush. So just this one, which is iconic London. And I'm just gonna smudge. The Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. That on with a flat brush. And then on top of that as well, I'm going to use some of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I'm just going to pop this onto the high points really, where I want a bit of extra glow. My absolute favourite foundation, which is NARS, and I've been using my Tropic Sun Drops. And Facial sun drops, you literally pop two drops, mix them with your moisturiser at bedtime or in the morning um, and it just gives you a nice kind of sun-kissed look, not so um, grey and horrible looking from being stuck inside. Um, so because I've got that on and my base is a little bit darker, I'm going to go for Barcelona. Just gonna finish blending in my foundation with a beauty blender, which has been soaked. If you soak your sponge, it becomes much softer, much easier to work with, spreads the product much better, um, and just gives you a nicer finish. Now that I've done that, I'm going to give myself some eyebrows because I just look so bizarre without them. I think I need to give them a tint, to be honest. And I'm just going to use my HD Brow Tech Pencil in Foxy, which is a sort of ready brownie colour. Then I'm just going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set and I like to use a different, um, a different spoolie because I find there's too much on this one. use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25 and the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. So first of all, the highlighting, and I'm just taking the same flat brush I used for my foundation and roughly putting it all the places that I want to highlight.
this is very runny so I use my palette and then I'm going to use a stick on brush and just put that in the areas where I want to contour now as I said this is going to be quite a sort of heavy contoured look you don't need to be as contoured um, if you don't like but a few people have asked me to do a video for contouring I'm just going to do Oh, my nose, and I'm doing my nose with a smaller buffer brush. And just under my lip. With the contouring areas, you're kind of doing like a number three. around the side of your face and then your nose and your lips if you want to do that as well there's no rules it's just what everybody prefers Then I'm going to set my under eyes using, I like to do a little mix here, um, using Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, the sparkly one, it's the illuminating mineral veil and the Becca Cosmetics um, and Dry Brightening Setting Powder. I don't know why I like to mix them, I just do. Um, I think the mineral veil is maybe a bit too illuminating by itself. Um, sometimes I use just it um, for like a night out or something um, but typically I would mix the two of them together and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques 402 brush mix that together and just dab it on Then bronzer, I'm going to use the MAC Medium Deep um, Mineralize Skin Finish. Favourite go-to bronzer. And I'm just putting this in the same places as the liquid contouring bronzer. For blusher, I'm going to use the MAC Margin Blusher. Um, it's a frost, so it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's like a soft, bronzy, pink kind of colour. And that's really just going on the apples of the cheekbones. I think for highlighter I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics um, Royal Glow. It's a nice sort of bronzy kind of colour. I'm going to go for Stone by MAC. And then favourite lipstick, Yash. Right. I 
much. I think I'll have a bit more bronzer. Sure, use this in daylight. So that's it in daylight. I am using the newer um, box lights. I finished the eyes now, and I think I'll do a little bit of black underneath. And then buff in more of the birch colour, which was this kind of tan colour. And then I think I'll just do some of my Becca highlighter just on the brow bone. And a little bit more on the top lip. And I have bottom lash mascara. 